full screen so I can see all the details. You can never have too much screen real estate, that's what I always say. So we have the LiPal 15.6 inch portable display which is actually super awesome, super useful, super amazing, and I've always wanted one. So basically this is a Type-C portable display. It's super thin, very lightweight, and if you have the right hardware, you can just plug it into your USB Type-C port without any external power supply and have an extra screen on the go. As far as specs, we're looking at 770 grams of weight, which is extremely light, a 15.6 inch IPS panel at 16 by 9 aspect ratio and 1920 by 1080p resolution. It can display 16 million colors, has a color temperature of 6800K, and even has built-in speakers in case you want some extra sound. What's amazing about this display is even if you don't have the proper hardware to power it through the USB Type-C port at the same time as it's displaying stuff on the monitor, you can always power it externally with a wall outlet or even a portable power bank. So that's definitely super convenient. So you can power anything wherever you want. You can really think of this as a portable TV because you can plug anything in here, whether it's an Xbox One, a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X. Those aren't even out yet, but you can play them on here because not only do we have the USB Type-C port, but we also have an HDMI port. Woo! Oh, nice packaging, all right. Got some nice foam here to protect everything. Inside the box, I have a warranty card, a screen protector, awesome to see included, a USB-A to USB Type-C power cable, a USB-A wall adapter, and then we have the monitor here, super thin, very lightweight. Let me put that to the side real quick. Also included is a thick USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, which not only is gonna be able to power the monitor, but it'll also be able to send data through as well. See, if you have the right hardware, you just need this one cable and the monitor and you're good to go. As well as an HDMI to mini HDMI cable for everything else. And there's even a user guide in here in case you get confused. And I think this is at this time, we also have a screen cleaning kit so you can clean the screen to put on the screen protector. Story time, I tried to install the screen protector, but it's plastic and it doesn't even cover up the whole screen, so I just took that thing off and forget about it. We don't need it because we actually have this cover on here, which feels very nice. It's leather-esque material and it's actually magnetic and it pops open. You can see the screen here. We have very small bezels. We have this nice blue stainless steel look going on here and it looks super nice. The screen looks very good until I scratch it up because I don't have a screen protector on it. But I recommend getting a tempered glass if anything. It's very lightweight. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was because the case actually has some weight to it as well. So it's, I feel like it's about half and half. You know what? The case actually feels like it might be a little bit heavier than the monitor if that's even possible. But whatever, that's great. Got this nice aluminum build quality here. Feels very cold to the touch. On the back, nice and blue. Look at this, looking nice. Over on the right side, we have the USB Type-C port. We have up, down, as well as select. And then we have the power button on the bottom. And over on the other side, we have the mini HDMI port, the USB Type-C port for video, and then the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And we do have stereo speakers. We got one over here on the left side, as well as one over here on the right side, so you can get some nice stereo action. Overall, it's looking very nice, feels very good. I'm surprised at how lightweight this thing is, but now, Let's get this thing put to the test. First things first, magnetic case, so you don't really need a screen protector when you're traveling around because obviously nothing's gonna happen while it's covered in this case. And it's not touch screen, so I don't think you actually need a screen protector. But, you know, better safe than sorry, right? Hey guys, hold on real quick. I don't know why this was so complicated for me, but I finally figured out how the actual cover and stand works. So this is what it's supposed to look like if you want it to work in your favor, and I finally got it. It's very sturdy, the magnetic connection is super strong, and look at this, so you go like this, you can fold it up. Oh, hey, I gotta do some business. You open it up just like your laptop, kinda hard to get with the magnet, and then look at that, it's attached here. It's a strong magnet, so you have to kinda pull it apart, and then you put in this little groove down here. You can either have it like this, or if you wanted a bit more decline, you go down to the lower one. And look at this, it's super strong, super sturdy, and then it looks like you should be able to go vertically if you want to. Um, I guess just like that? <laughs> so that's pretty cool, we figured it out, now we'll get back to where we were. And would you look at that, we got a nice stand here for our monitor so we can use it on the go. You can also buy a separate stand if you really wanted to, but that's more stuff to carry around. We don't want to keep it as easy as possible. Alright, so now we got the USB Type-C cable, I'm going to plug it into my MacBook Air, which has a Thunderbolt 3.0 port. Then we're going to plug the other end into the monitor. And as you can see, we already got power, so that means it's definitely going to work. So now we'll open up the MacBook. MacBook is, oh, look at that. We got a whole other display right here. So if you guys could take a look here, on the MacBook, we have Final Cut Pro open. On this one, we have a whole other second display, second screen action going on right here. Now, when it comes to using a secondary display, you have a few different options. You can choose to mirror the original display so they, so they both show the exact same thing at the same time, 
or you can choose to extend the display to make this one wider so you can have them side by side or you can choose to have two separate displays so one on the left side one on the right side personally for me i'm gonna have one on the left side one on the right side and one of the main uses i'm thinking for this is for final cut pro so basically as you can see here on the right side i have the video playing full screen so I can see all the details and on the left side I have all the editing stuff including the timeline and all the different effects. So that right there already extends your workspace beyond what you originally had. As far as settings go it's very easy. All you have to do is hold in the side button, you get this screen that pops up, you can adjust brightness, contrast, black level and sharpness, go down and change eco mode. You can adjust it to based on what you're doing to get the best picture quality. Aspect ratio, wide, 4x3, we don't want that, we're gonna leave it on wide for sure. We have color temperature, you can manually adjust it. You can also set it to warm or cool. You can change the language, the OSD timer, transparency, as well as select the signal source, whether it's Type-C or HDMI. You can turn HDR mode on and off. Whoa, look at that, let's turn that off. Oh wait, let's just leave it on auto, that's probably for the best. And you can even lower the blue light to help you sleep at night, but you know, I don't care. So now let's take a look at how this actually looks. We can use that toggle on the side to adjust the brightness. Let's max it out real quick. 100% brightness, looks good. Viewing angles are actually very good. I mean, obviously it looks better from directly head on, although from the side, it's not looking too bad. I'm pretty impressed here. As far as resolution, we're looking at 1080p Full HD and it does look good, although if you really look close, you can definitely see the pixels. From a normal viewing angle, it looks all right. Really, right here, this is the life right here. I got two displays. Speakers are on the quiet side, although if you have no other option, it's definitely good to have, although I personally have some headphones on or even just use the MacBook speakers alone. And the sound is on the tinnier side, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Now real quick, let me mirror the display so I can take a look at the color reproduction. Colors actually aren't too bad. They aren't as vibrant as on the MacBook, but the MacBook's display is better and also does have higher resolution. But I mean, it definitely does look good. It's definitely usable. And the funny thing is this external display just happens to be almost three inches bigger than the MacBook display. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have mirrored displays. So this way, it's like if somebody is across from you and they wanna watch a movie that you're watching, but you don't wanna sit next to each other, get too close because you're social distancing, this is a way to do it. So let's see, let's get this full screen. Let's get the video playing. All right, so how does it look to you guys? You guys have almost 16 inches of real estate. I have 13, so mine's smaller. Not bad in my book. And plus, this is just so amazing how we have one cable controlling everything. One cable, power and display. At the same time, super portable. So all in all, I'm definitely gonna be getting a ton of use out of this thing. I mean, look at this. I instantly doubled my display real estate just like that. And the kicker of it all, is I can take this with me wherever I go and have two displays with me everywhere. You know, that's like the ultimate flex. And it's even so great that it's so simple. You have this carrying case, cover it up, stays nice and safe and protected. Look at this. Gotta just disconnect this wire. Look at this. I'm ready to go do business wherever I want. Simple as that. What?